Today, I'm going to turn your drawings into actual living creatures. In Spore. They're going to be living in Spore. I asked everybody in my Discord server to submit their drawings. And we got some gnarly submissions, man. I mean, what is this? Look at, what is that? Why? Why is that? Well, the first drawing that we are going to be tackling today is a drawing that comes at us from Mully Mech. So here is the drawing that he has submitted. Ooh, so it's a scary looking monster thing. Now I interpret this as some type of a gooey swamp monster thing. That's what that is. With four arms and two legs. Okay, you know what? I think this is definitely doable. Now I can't really see if there's a tail there or not, but I am going to assume that that dude has a tail. He looks like a tail is kind of a dude. All right, so I believe this is roughly the body shape that we are after. Maybe make him a little bit skinnier. All right, something like that. I am I'm satisfied with that body that's a, that's a cool body now let's quickly change colors just so that i can fully picture the swampiness of this swamp monster all right so this dude seems to have two legs and four arms and i think i'm actually just going to use these limbs right here as arms because they got that creepy looking uh, muscle looking limb right there now i'm gonna see if i can customize these limbs just a little bit oh you know what what if we use something like that maybe So there we go. We got the basic body. Now we need to make it actually look good. That's the that's the hard part. All right. So on the drawing, the creature seems to be screaming, and I love that pose, man. I want <laughs> I want that creature to be screaming always, just always screaming, because he looks really cool when he's screaming. So let's see if we can actually just pose this creature and make him look like he's always screaming. He got some anger issues. All right, I think I should be able to use these parts right here to sculpt some type of a mouth. But the question is, is it going to look good enough? I did something. Now, I'm not really sure about what I think about this mouth that we have made. But I think we're gonna keep it just for now. Just while we focus on other things. And then we can go back to the mouth later on. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Now, I want to add a tail to this guy. Because I really do think that this guy has a tail. It just doesn't show on the actual drawing. There we go. We got a tail. It's a, it's a cool tail. Now, let's see what we can do about those little details on his back. I think we can definitely do something clever with these parts right here. Ah, it's the voiceover terrace. It's a different terrace. This one is from the future. Ooh, cool. Now, I had a lot of issues making that little thing on his back. Making that thing turned out to be quite the challenge no matter what i did it didn't really look as intimidating as it looked like on the drawing and i really wanted to capture that intimidatingness I intimidatingness is that that's a word right it, it, it's a word guys it's a word it's a word Now eventually I found a really nice combination of parts that really worked well to create that in intimidatingness. Guys, I promise you, it's a word. So with the back thingy all ready and looking good, the rest of the creatures still look like as, I don't know, a malformed frog fetus. I'm not sure what it looks like. It doesn't look good.
more touch-ups and a few more parts and things and stuffs. It was finally starting to look pretty decent if I do say so myself. And after we found the perfect paint job to fit our creature, it was finally ready. Now the only thing we need is a name. Everybody, say hello to Sven. So here we got Sven, our first drawing, transformed into an actual living creature <clears throat> inside of sport. And there we have it. So here you can see Sven compared to the original drawing. I think he looks fine. Now, on to the next creature. So the next creature comes at us from the user Nutsred264. Now here is the picture that he has submitted. Look at his long boy! Look at that creepy smile! Alright, so this creature is definitely a creepy one. And making creepy creatures in Spore is a really difficult task because all the parts we got to use are really cartoonish parts. Alright, so I started off by sculpting the head by just combining two other heads to make this really cartoonish roundish head shape that we have on the actual drawing. I really wasn't feeling what I had been doing so far with this creature. But I tried to muster on, I tried to throw on some parts and make it look cool. But I will say, making his head just a little bit angled, that made a world of difference, man. And once I did that, I decided to lift up only one of his arms to make it seem like he is reaching for something. Probably some snacks, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a big boy, he's, he needs a lot of snacks. Now, I wasn't really that satisfied with the results that we got, so I decided to try again. Alright, so this time I used a couple of different techniques. For example, I sculpted the head with spheres instead of using the actual mouths to sculpt the head. decided to use invisible limbs for all the limbs on the creatures just so that I would have a little bit more freedom when it came to how the limbs would look like. Now you are able to see the limbs right now but don't worry once you do actually get into the game the limbs are indeed invisible.
final product. Now, I will say I do think it's a little bit better than the first try. It will have to do at least. Now, compared to the drawings, it is pretty accurate. I mean, you can see the resemblance. But I will say, after making that creature, my confidence had taken a hit. I needed to call in the big guns. I needed to call. Hey everyone, my name is Rebecca, also known as Dark Edge TV, and I shall be making this lovely looking winged wolf character by Mama Llama. So thank you very much, Terra, for this opportunity. I'm really excited to be here. And as always, I'll be starting with the body of the creature to get those initial foundations in place. So I feel like Mama Llama's creation has a very elegant, prideful looking design to it. So I really puffed out the chest. It looks a bit too much right now, but as I add the fur on later, it should all come together quite elegantly. Now it's no secret that legs in spawn tend to look kind of bulbous, especially around the hips. So what I'll be doing I'll be using these rather large bronchosaurus thighs here and while well, at the moment I'm sure it looks a little bit funny if I quickly ground them by adding feet to them for now really pull it into the middle and then extend the spine outwards you can see that it really flows together quite nicely and then of course I'll be adding the other limbs and joints and I'll attach on some avian looking talons since from what I've read this has the legs of a bird and then for the forearms to mimic that whole bird looking texture I'll make the upper half of the arms quite large and thick but the lower half rather narrow and I'll make the feet a little bit smaller and next up is the tail now again, I'm really going for the whole elegance look here. I want the tail to animate. I want it to be able to sway side to side. So to do this, I'll be adding in a couple of extra joints than I normally would. And now that I've added some fur onto the tail, with that animating and dancing, you can see how it actually wiggles properly. And it just looks a little bit nicer in my opinion, than opposed to if it were rigid and stiff. And what I'll do next is I'll puff out the chest with all the extra fur. So now that her currently rather bulbous looking physique should look a lot more natural. And like I said, really honing for that whole elegant appearance. So I think it's a good looking mane so far. She's looking wonderfully fluffy. Now for the next part is the head. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, wolf heads have always been quite tricky. So I'll be starting the croc kisser head since it's easily the most customizable. I make the head a little bit big so that everything is nice and proportionate. And now it's time for the magic of using recolored nail downs to try and to basically force the head to be the right shape that I want to match a wolf. So for wolves, I find there's always two defining features that really make a wolf look like, well, a wolf. One is the eye and two is the ears. So it's very important I get these two correct. For the eyes, I'm going to use the soulless eyes from Creepy and Cute. But the important part is, is that they are the right shape, the right size and the right direction. And then to accompany that, I need to define the large round forehead and eyebrows. Now because Mama Llama's character has glowing yellow eyes, I'm going to go ahead and add a yellow sphere into the eye sockets first, followed by a white sphere, and then I'll add a glowing effect to the eyes so that they really shine out. Now next up are the ears, which I'll be placing quite far back and aiming quite far upwards. That way she's got a bit of a curious looking expression to her. And then the horns, which got nice large antlers, which I should be able to accomplish with just these ones here. So her head and neck is looking a bit bare and a little bit skinny. So for that, I'll be adding in some creepy and cute, uh, some of the spiky, fluffier parts, just to try and, and add a little bit of mass. And now for the final feature, those large feathered wings, my favorite parts. Now for this, I'll be using the same limbs I've been using for the arms and legs. Get to pose it up right to look nice and proud and add a little extra bit to the tip of the wing so I've got more real estate to place the feathers off of. So I like the look of the wings so far but it's still just a little bit stubby in my opinion so for that I'll be using the feather bluster to add a couple of larger more wispy looking feathers. Here is Mama Lama's character in the end. I will admit there's a little bit too much yellow, but unfortunately that's the thing of Spore. I could either have the right colored, but very cartoonish looking fur, or I could have good fur, but a little bit too much yellow. Hopefully Mama Lama likes it. I personally am very proud of this creation, and I think it actually animates quite decently as well. And overall, this was really, really fun. So thank you Terrace again for the opportunity. I had a really lovely time making this. Thanks Rebecca. I also made one. Do you like it? Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see all of you beautiful faces in the next one. Have a good one, guys.